Hello everyone, we hope you're all doing very well today. We're in the F5E and we're looking at engine failure and engine restart. We've got two methods, primary and secondary, of restarting the engine. And both can be used with a single or a twin engine failure. So the first thing is, I'm going to simulate an engine failure. There's all sorts of ways I can do this. I can do a fuel cut, but I'm going to do a genuine one. I'm going to pretend I'm in a dogfight and I'm going to fly inverted. I'm going to drain accidentally drain the uh, reserve tanks and we'll find that our engines will of course stall as it will in almost all planes okay we've lost one engine and we've lost the other engine so we've just run out of um, reserve tank let them spool down just imagine we're having a really intense dogfight that just will not end okay we're gonna roll back to idle and the primary method in this plane is really easy and almost impossible to get wrong is just full throttle into afterburner and if you do that it restarts your engines and off we go that should work looks like it's going to work obviously the higher you are the faster you are the easiest this is going to be and we've got engines back online the second method and this can also be used as a diagnostic procedure to check the condition of your engine is let's just simulate a fault with an engine let's, we're just going to fuel cut to left engine keep the right engine going okay so our engine is stopped we don't know what's wrong with it we're going to fault check it so we're going to go left throttle to idle and then we're going to cage that throttle turn the throttle off with left uh, shift and end for me that is no there is still rpm in the i'm just going to pause it there in the n1 and that is simply because it's windmilling the power from that engine and the potential energy of this aircraft is allowing that engine to windmill now i'm simply going to repeat the start procedure we've already got rotation in the engine so all we need to do is press the left start button and uncage the throttle i.e put it into idle which is going to be left shift and home if the engine then successfully goes through its 40 second start procedure as it would do if it was on the ground on a cold start then the engine is fine and it will start if it doesn't then the engine is seized and you've caused you know you've got damage in the engine or whatever okay so let's get it done let's turn the fuel back on to simulate that the engine is actually okay let's press left starter let's uncase the left throttle left shift and home let's let it run through its start procedure if it starts up then we're good and you can see the engine is indeed starting up again and if it didn't start up then you would know that you had a fatal engine problem so we've got to show hope that was useful and see you later